Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we have a big, big Epic Universe update. It's been a couple of weeks, so let's go ahead and dive right in to see what else is going on at this theme park. Starting off in Celestial Park by Starfall Racers, we have um, big updates there with the coaster and the ex they're working on the extended queue currently. Over at the new restaurant, where it continues uh, quite nicely, the building frame is just about complete and they're working on the steel right now and putting on the roof of the structure as well. And the blue dragon looks like it's nearing completion, even has its thematic elements uh, at top there and the two patio areas and with the, uh, the entrance, the cascading waterfalls are being installed as well and the land bridge looks fantastic. Continuing further into Celestial Park, you have the Constellation Carousel looking absolutely beautiful with the theming. Look at that. And there's even some blue sky and clouds painted on the top that looks really really good in the daytime and i feel like at nighttime it'll look even better still got to do the key, uh roof and theming of the queue but the main structure is a complete and looks absolutely gorgeous moving up to the moon pie pizza restaurant here i love the gold um gold walls here and the glass almost like floor to ceiling glass here we have fantastic views of the entire celestial park area over here at the luna park or luna overlook this will be um the area we can the cascading waterfall start right by the entrance guests can stand right over there and look as the waterfalls cascade on down towards the rest of the park and then grand helios will be at the back this area is starting to shape up quite nicely as well and let's go over ahead to the dark universe for some new thematic details over over at the Curse of the Railroad Coast, you see lots more wagons have popped up for this um, traveling circus type or, uh, or theming they're going for here. And on the exterior queue, looking fantastic with the burning, uh, the barn structure peeking up at the bottom of the picture right there. And Frankenstein's Manor, our Monsters on Chandling is fantastic and still waiting for that top piece, but the rest of it are getting de-aged um, and the theming continues. Of his impressive ride and facade. The village of Bar Barkmore looks great as well. And just about complete, there's that iconic, well, now iconic entrance area that we saw from the reveal video. Um, that was semi archways coming, welcome you into the land. The Curse of the Werewolf again. Um, we have some exterior theming here um, for the queue. Just a lot of posts are up because there'll be some like very colorful, kind of circus like traveling kind of circus. Tents, um, or like mystical, mystical tents, um, they'll be very colorful on the top of this uh, area. The Kronos looks absolutely gorgeous um, here and just about complete. In fact, you have the Epic Universe logo installed and it looks just gorgeous. And you have the entrance, some of the entrance puddings work continues on there, and even some rock work to the uh, left hand side there before you get inside the Kronos as well. Here's something we really haven't looked at before, but we'll take a look now, and that is. This roadway, this will be the bus roadway that will, and bus and uh, car roadway that will take you into the entrance to Epic Universe. This is coming off Universal Boulevard and the extension, an extension to Kirkman Road. This will be like a, a elevated roundabout that will take cars and buses off the main road into Epic Universe. And this will be opened up next year. And this looks uh, great. Looks like all the um, foundations have been poured and they're going to currently pouring the roadway um, or the foundations for the roadway and then it'll make the concrete and it'll be ready to go which looks fantastic another shot of the entrance right here look at those beautiful symmetrical entrance buildings and the chronos and then this is uh in the foreground's luna park area and then all the entrance and ticketing stuff is before that chronos and then you have all the themed lands already installed in there that looks really really open for isle of burke more targets have finally shown up to the um, fire drill attraction, and then a cannon and some more trees. So that attraction's starting to move rapidly again. Look, there's even a big bucket of fake water there. It looks pretty cool. And then at the theater, you have the first piece of actual theming that has popped up on the entrance to the Untrainable Dragon Show. Spitfire Grill cont uh, work continues on the facade of painting, and they're even putting in the spots to the, uh, the area now which looks really good this area really is coming into focus more theme more theming continues at uh the beginning of how the 
baseline village of the Hattachania Dragon area of Alburg. Lots of colorful blocks and Viking ships and dragon houses. It looks super, super good, including the windmill on top of the um, portal there. It looks great. And here is another view into the village and some of those Viking ships, those very heavily themed Viking ships and docks. I wonder if guests will be able to walk on those docks, maybe onto the, at least the bigger ship there. So it looks like there's a dock that heads over to the bigger ship, but doesn't look like maybe there's a way down. So that would, that would be kind of cool if you can walk on it, but I don't know, I kind of doubt it because I don't see really a way down to that dock right there. There are some dragon houses installed on some of the structures in the village. And a lot of these dragon houses have lots of animatronic dragon tails and heads popping out of them. And they'll be you know, not super impressive animatronics, but they'll be animatronics nonetheless. Wagging their tails and such, that'll be pretty awesome. Lots of landscaping and greenery, greenery has occurred on the coast train. There's the play area, right? uh, Viking training camp play area is finally getting installed. Some of the play elements there inside and outside of the rock work and it looks really really impressive over at the um grand stands of the dragon racer rally attraction you have the fake stands for the humans and then with dragon houses again and you can see some dragon uh, heads and tails already but just about each one of these houses will have dragons peering out of it i'm watching you race against each other on that gerson or sky flyer track another shot of fire drill or fire drills flume there as we still wait for targets to be installed in this particular station. This is the, towards the end as it heads back into the station. And uh, the bridge looks great, all done with lots of dirt still waiting for landscaping and or like concrete work for the footpaths in this particular section as well. And over to Super Nintendo World, lots of color here. You can see in Donkey Kong, lots of color too. We'll get there in a second, but in the Mushroom Kingdom, we'll get to some details like the Yoshi's Adventure sign and lots of more color work. Look at Bowser's Castle getting all the turrets, just about all the turrets installed as well. Here's more into the main section of the land here. Still waiting on the Toadstool Cafe on a hat. But you can see all the Yoshis are been covered up back in the plastic, probably as they paint everything around it so they don't want the Yoshis to get the uh, damage. Still have to um, kind of fully enclose that tunnel into the one show scene for the attraction. But lots of gray here, but the color should begin to make its way over to this side. Um, now that the other side seems to be done. Here's the sign for the Yoshi's Adventure. Just about installed, still wrapped up, so it is newly installed, but looks absolutely great. Another shot of the Yoshi's Adventure attraction with uh, now some landscaping happening on the ride itself. Lots of greenery has appeared, and some more animatronics have appeared as well. And it looks good, even some um, kind of color work on that Mount Beepole too. Donkey Kong Country, the temple main iconic temple structure is starting to uh, really be worked on now. It's almost all of it's painted gold. We're still on, oh, this is the back ash. The face is installed, so the back of it has been painted gold, and there's other bananas and items have been painted gold as the coaster will launch out of the cannon and launch right in front of the attraction there. Right here, this plane is going to be the Lance Gift Shop. I forgot the actual name, but at least it still knows that, but this will be the gift shop, and they're just waiting for the rest of the plane pieces to pop on up, and it'll uh, be done. Here's a shot of the Donkey Kong minecart on the on the mid-course break run testing, but they've been continuously, te continuously testing this coaster, nearly, not like 24-7, but probably a lot of uh, hours of the day, multiple vehicles on the track, so this is um, getting ready to get ready to open. I know that Donkey Kong in Japan has had some issues, so I'm sure they're trying to resolve those for 2025, so Donkey Kong won't have any issues, uh, besides normal opening issues, when this land opens. Spikes look fantastic, and the show scene, uh, the, the show building looks great too, with these theme elements, nice all colored. Remember last update, most of these elements were gray, but now it looks they look even more vi vibrant, that they have been all painted and ready to go. Over the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Things look fantastic here. The biggest change is that very colorful circus tent, which is the entry to the land's show. Here is the Force, pers force Perspective building being built. Right where that arrow is, that, c that cylindrical building there. It's not done, but this will be a building at the end of the street. It will make, that make it look like the street goes on forever, just like uh, many other theme parks too. It's, you can see that at California Adventure and current Universal Parks as well. Here's a close look at that circus tent structure that some have called said it looks like Mickey and it does but there's that red tent 
it's obviously not done yet so it'll be the entrance to the uh lands one and only show and it shares the show building with the main e-ticket attraction which the entrance to that will be a little bit down this hallway right there one that's look at the wizarding world uh land it'll be a tiny but mighty land with plenty of things to do plenty of interactive one experiences to show uh theme park ride or an attraction sit down restaurant plenty of gift shops and stuff and there'll be uh expansions later on down the line to the south over there so looks fantastic that is it for this week's epic universe update what did you guys what do you guys think let me know in the comments below uh things are really ramping up we're in the phase now where all the major stuff is built and we're getting little pieces of theming each uh each and every update so i think it looks great what is your most anticipated land again and a lot of people will probably say dark universe that is mine so i can't wait for that if you want more epic universe updates make sure to sub subscribe to the channel press the like button and if you want these videos early make sure to become a youtube member by clicking the join channel join button below other than that everyone have a big day see you soon